Update and welcome back. Continuing our unit on Pythagoras and um, today just looking at the concept of square roots and specifically how to estimate them. And because we're estimating, um, obviously we're not going to be able to use calculators for this work. So um, make sure that when you're doing your exercises today you use this process that we develop here. It's kind of an iterative process. So follow along, see how it's done, and let's try to do a few out of the book later. So I wanted to begin by reviewing with you the square numbers. If you're very, very familiar with these, feel free to fast forward a little bit. But remember that we generate the square numbers by multiplying the counting numbers um, by themselves. So uh, see if you can predict these with me. 1 times 1 is our first square number and has a value of 1. 2 times 2, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, and, yep, 169. So these are the square numbers in this list here. What's unique about square numbers is they are the only numbers that have a whole number square root. So let's find out the square roots of our square numbers. Well, to find the square root of 1, we're looking for a number we can multiply by itself that results in 1. And that, of course, is 1. For 4, a number times itself to give 4, that would be 2. And on we go through the list. What is the square root of 36? 6, 7, and pretty quickly, obviously, we're just writing out the counting numbers, or the whole number, square roots. So if I'm asked to find the square root of a whole number, it's a fairly easy process. I have a whole number answer. Sorry, I mean of a square number. Now, let's go to a number that is not square. Let's take the number 47 and let's find out a way to estimate its square root. We're looking for a number which multiplied by itself will result in 47. The key to doing this is to see which two square numbers does 47 lie between. And if we look at our list of, of square numbers, we can see that 47 is somewhere between the 36 and the 49. Now the square roots of these numbers are 6 and 7. And so we know the square root of 47 must lie somewhere between 6 and 7. So the next question becomes, okay, are we closer to the 6 or to the 7? Let's look back at our original value, 47. If you were to place it between these two on a number line, let's say, where would it land? Well, here's 36, 37, 38, 39... 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, and it's going right off the end of my page. But you can see quickly that we are far closer to the 49 than we are over here to the 36. 47 would be sitting about here and the 49 just off the edge. So we should find a decimal number then that's far closer to the 7 than to the 6. Let's choose 6.8 as a starting point. To determine if we've come close, how do we figure out whether this is the square root of 47 or not? Well, that's right. We multiply it by itself and see what we get. This is the part where it's okay to use a calculator um, because you're not using the square root button or anything like that. You're just using the calculator to help you through this iterative process. Now, the answer I get is 46 decimal 24. And the thing is, that's a bit smaller than what we want. We want 47, which tells me we need a bigger number. So let's see what happens if we jump up to 6.9. What then do we get for our square number? Well, 6.9 times 6.9 gives me 47.61, which is actually a little bit too big, isn't it? It's over the number 47. 
It's actually a little bit closer, though, than the 6.8 was. The 6.8 was 0.76 away from 47. This one's only 0.39 away from 47. So we know we're closer to the 6.9, but we're not quite at 6.9. So let's move to a second decimal place. We know it's going to be 6.8 something. We know it's closer to the 0.9, so we're probably past 8.5. So let's try 87. Let's multiply it by itself and see what we get. 6.87 times 6.87. I'm doing this on the calculator. This gives me 47 point... I'm going to just round it to 2. So we are closer, but we are not there. We're still a little bit high. Let's drop it down. Let's go to 6.85. Let's see what that gives us. So 6.85 times 6.85. Mm, here we are at 46.92. We are now extremely close. This is only 0 0.08 away from our answer. This one is a full 0.2 away from our answer. So this one's clearly much closer. We actually need to get this slightly higher, or we'd like to, to get a bit closer. So if we go just a slight bit higher, let's see what we get. My guess is we're going to end up a little bit too big now, but we'll try it. 6.86 times 6.86 equals 47.06. So this is 0 0.06 away. This is 0 0.08 away. This is our closest yet. And we know if we go any higher than this, we move further away from 47. If we go any lower, we move further from 47. And so this is our best estimate to two decimal places. So we can now say that the square root of 47 is approximately equal to 6.86. Feel free to rewind and follow through that process again if you need to, um, and we will get on in the exercises with uh, estimating square roots. Have a great day. hope the assignment goes well. Bye for now.